Hello everyone, it's Fiona here from Lavender Blue. Welcome back to my channel. Um, and today I wanted to show you how, it's just a quick project, how you can make a little mini book from one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So um, if you have these, uh, you know, sheets of cardstock lying around and um, you're not sure what to do with them, this is one little project that you could do. Um, so you could um, use a patterned piece of paper like this. This one's double-sided, but um, it doesn't have to be double-sided because you'll actually only see one side. And the side that I want to use is this side. But you could also use um, plain cardstock. So if you wanted it to be... Um, plain and then you wanted to mat it with um, you know decorative papers you could also do it that way um, and I, I sort of couldn't make up my mind so I've got uh, I had a few other papers out because I thought I might match well I might match some of the cards because it has little um, journal cards that go inside as well and I've got, I've just had some of my, um, this is my, I think it's called, I called it black and ivory or black, white and ivory journal papers. So I've just got some of them printed out in case um, I wanted to use these. And so I'll link these below if you haven't um, seen this one. I'll uh, put a link to it if you're interested. Um, but these I've just printed onto plain uh, printer paper, so they're just 80 GSM. Uh, normally if I was making a journal and these were going to be journal pages, I would print it onto a thicker paper. I normally use about 160 GSM. But because I was going to use these just for matting onto cardstock, um, I've just printed them onto ordinary paper. But um, I may not use them today, just depending on what I decide to do, but I've got those there. So I think, I think what I'm going to do actually is I'm, no, I'm going to actually um, use the patterned paper. Because um, it, it kind of depends what you want to use the book for. Um, I'm not really a journaler, as in writing much in a journal. I'm more of an art journaler, so I prefer to do, um, you know, painting and, and collage and things like that, or scrapbooking where I might stick photos inside. So um, I might just use the pattern paper as a background in this project, but yeah, as I said, you can do either. So I'm just going to cut down this. The white strip off the side and obviously you can use a paper trimmer but I just find it quicker just to use my scissors sometimes so I'm just going to cut that down and then all we're going to do first of all is we're going to fold this in half and you can use um, a scoreboard so if you're using a scoreboard what you would do is score it at the six inch mark to start off with and then you would score it at the three inch and the nine inch so basically I'm just folding it and then folding it again you need to try and be as accurate as you can with this otherwise um, your book won't fold together properly so I'm just trying to be as straight as I can be <clears throat> And I'm sure if it, if it does go a little bit skewy, I'll be able to fix it. We're going to fold there and we're going to fold here. Just making sure I've got that right on the centre. Okay. 
on that fold. It's a little bit hard to see. I might just, I'm just, because this is so busy, I, it's hard for me to see. So I'm just going to mark my, see, I'm just marking my fold with a pencil on either end. So I can see exactly where that is. That's where I guess, yeah, and to measure it out first probably would have been the right thing to do, but I'm sort of, I think if you know me by now, I'm not a very exact, precise person, and I just sort of, <laughs> you know, just do things as I go along and hope that it comes out okay. So, so that we folded, so now we've got the free folds that way. And so all we're going to do now is I'm just making sure that's straight. Yep, yeah, looks straight to me. So all we need to do now is do it back the other way. So back this way. Fold it in half. Like this. Making sure my corners are lined up. And then I'm going to go into the centre again, just like before. And it's okay I'm marking this side because this side you won't see. So, as I said, you could use this for a journal or a mini photo album or both um, or as a little art journal. As with all the books that I make, really, and journals, I mean, I tend to use my journals more like an art journal than an actual writing journal. You, you may have seen this before. Um, I have done them before and I may have an old video of me making one of these. I'm not really sure, but it would have been a long time ago. So I thought I'll just do it again. And you might want a little album for Easter or something. So um, it could be a good idea. We've got it all folded up like this. Now, I'm on the back of my paper now, so this is the bit that I I want to see on the outside. I think that's right. So, um, what you need to do is, whoops, hope I didn't bang the camera too much. Is it on? The first uh, vertical fold here, I'm going to go up to the top horizontal one and I'm going to put a dot there, just where you've got the first cross up here, where they cross. Is that right? Um, yeah, that's right. And now with the middle one, we're going to go down to the bottom first line where they cross, where they meet, and we're going to put a dot there. And then again, this one, we're going to do the same up the top here. And so what we're doing is we're marking um, where we need to cut. Probably should have, maybe should have used a plain piece of paper so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to draw my lines. What did I do with my ruler? Um, I'm going to draw my lines. So we're just cutting from here 
down there. And then this one, we're cutting from here up to the top end. Up to the top end, like that. And this one again, I'm going to cut down. Just making sure I'm on that fold. Okay. So we're just going to cut it. Again, you could use a paper trimmer. If I go a little bit crooked, it's okay, I can fix it. But I'm going as straight as I can, just to that first dot. And then I'm gonna turn it around. So I'm gonna cut from here up to the second one, middle one. Middle dot. Like that, come back this way and cut up this way. And I think another name for these little booklets are uh, meandering booklet because of the way you fold it. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So once you've cut it, you end up with an, well, this way we've ended up with a, an M. Or it could be an M or a W, like that. So, um, now let me think, I wanna make sure I've got this the right way. So, Yeah, so I've got mine as if we've got a W, okay? Or is it, no, hang on. <laughs> is that a W or an M? That's the M. Hmm. Hang on. Yeah, there's the W. So with it like the M shape, I'm going to start folding and I'm going to start by folding under, okay? So start by folding under and making sure this is the side on the bottom that you want, you know, to be showing when you're finished. I think. <laughs> Let's just... So we're basically going to do under, over, under, over, under... Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay, now this is why we want to make sure that we folded it as straight as we can so that our edges, I've got one poking out there, but I can just trim it off. So this is essentially the spine where all the folds are and you want them to be pretty much as straight as possible. I'm just checking, yeah. So now as you can see, when I open this up like this, um, I've got all the pages that I wanna see on this side. Okay, and we will be making a cover for this. Um, so that that stays as it, is, as it is because the cover gets glued onto this first page. But first of all, I'm just going to trim off. There was a piece yeah on the edge here that's sticking out just slightly. So I'm just going to trim that. Should be fine. 
So now this is where we start gluing. Now you can um, you can mark it with a pencil before you glue it if you want to, or you can just sort of glue as you go along. But essentially, we open it up, and on this first page here, you'll notice that it's open at the top. So basically, we're going to have a pocket at the top because it's because it's closed on this side you would have a pocket at the top so that means leave you the first one so it means essentially I'm going to glue the side and the bottom and then close it and then I'll move on to the next one which would have a side or a top pocket depending on what you prefer but we'll start with start with this one I'm going to glue, let me draw a line, I'm going to glue the side and the bottom on this one and sometimes it is easier to draw them in before you do it so you can just then go along and, and, and put your glue where you want it. So I might do that, so that's that one. Now this one, you can see there's an opening at this side and at the top. But I think I'm going to have the opening at the side. So I'm going to put glue at this side and the top. So this side and the top. And you know, which piece of paper you put the glue on doesn't really matter. I could have done it here but it's still gluing the same piece of paper, so if that makes sense. And now the next page, we have an opening again at the top. This side is closed. So we're gonna glue um, sorry, we're going to glue let me look again. So it can get confusing. So yeah, I'd be gluing the bottom and this side. Bottom and this side. Right. That's right. The next one I'm gonna make it on this side and it's open at the bottom. So I'm going to glue this side and the bottom. Next page, it's open at the top. I'm going to glue the bottom and the side. The bottom and the side. Hope you can see me okay. Yeah. The next one it's open at the top so let's glue this side and this side okay this one also open at the top so let's glue the side and the bottom the side and the bottom And the last one, this again is going to be the cover, so we just leave that one. I'm just going to make sure, I just double check before you actually start gluing it to make sure that you have um, done them properly. Um, what have I done with this one? Yep, that's right. Um, because you don't want to start gluing and then find that you've done it all wrong. <laughs> that one. Okay. So, all I'm going to do is start gluing. Now, 
actually before I do that um, if you want to make to say this one I'm having a pocket at the top so I might want to have a little divot there a little semicircle cut out for when I can pull my tags in and out you can do that now and you can ink all around or we can do that after we've glued it together and I think I'm going to do mine after I've glued it together so let's start mine's a little bit skew if but it's not too bad let's just see if this glue is going to work Just a PVA glue, so I'm not sure you could use double sided tape, but I um it's just it's gonna make your pockets smaller. So but that's up to you. I'm gonna grab a wipe. Wipe my glue off and hope that it sticks. There. We're just, I'm just going to press them down each time as I go along. So I've got my first page done. My second page, I can see where I need to put glue. Stick our pages together. So, um, I'm just going to continue doing this. So, um, hope that you've all been keeping well it's um it's been a long time since I've done a video I know um, I, I closed down my Facebook group for a while and um, I was I've just been busy doing other things but I've also um, I've just been having a few problems with my health as well so I've been feeling too crash hot and um, yeah, so I just sort of took a bit of a break and I sort of, you know, kind of had a bit of a restock of what I wanted to do in a way and I just, I know I don't want to give up doing journals and paper crafting because I really do love it and I love creating the printables for you guys. So um, anyway, so I've opened, I've reopened my Facebook group. So for those of you who aren't in my Facebook group yet, the link will be in the description box below this video. I have lots of free printable files in my Facebook group. So you can just download them there. And I used to, be, um, oh, what have I done? Oh no, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I lost my constant. Hang on. Yeah, that's right. I had it upside down. I lost my concentration there for a second. Um, oh, that's that side. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I actually find it really hard to talk and um, do this at the same time. So maybe I shouldn't be because I might stuff it up. But I thought I'd have a chit chat while I'm doing these boring bits. Um, so, yes, so I've reopened my Facebook group and I was putting free printables on my website too. But if you go over there, you'll see that I have started my website again for about the third time. And 
I no longer have the free printable page there. You used to have to sign up and get a password and everything to the free printable page. Um, but I'm not doing that anymore. But I will have the free printables there just like in a blog post. So um, you don't have to go. What's happening here? That one's come apart. I'll come back to that one. So you don't have to go to the trouble of, you know, getting the password and trying to log in because I also kept having trouble with people losing the password and also not being able to log in sometimes. So I'll be putting some freebies just in blog posts and you can just download from there. So check back often. Um, but most of them will be still in the Facebook group. I may not put all of them on my website. That's what I'm trying to say. So but I'll always let you know if I've put a new one on the website anyway. I'll be um, starting up the newsletter again soon. So um, if you're on my email list, you will get notified. So it looks like this is the last one, I think. But I think I might have missed one. Or one's not sticking very well or something that's the only problem with the just the normal PBA glue it does take a little while to dry that's why normally I do actually prefer a tacky glue because it dries quicker it's okay just for today we'll do this I'm not sure if I may have even turned my book upside down while I was talking did I I'm just going to go like this, make sure the folds are... Oops, that's my cat wanting to come in. Just one second, guys, I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. So I have another quick little look through because I'm pretty sure there's one that has a couple that didn't stick properly. See, that's... I think I missed this one actually. Yeah, I missed it. See, that's me trying to talk and <laughs> show you how to do something at the same time. Sorry about that, guys. I think I've you get the general gist of how this goes together. It can it seem a bit complicated until you actually go to do it, or until you've done it a couple of times and then you find that it's not really as difficult as what it what it looks. Now, I, and yeah, I've done my base with cardstock, obviously, but you could, because there is also you can also do this with A4 with an A4 sheet, so you could also use just a tea dyed paper. And actually, I might do that in another video. We'll make a little cute little journal using. Um, you know our coffee dyed paper or you could use plain paper and we'll do do the one with the a4 size i think yeah i don't think i'll do it in this video but i'll i will do that in another video because you can make quite a cute little pocket journal um doing it that way okay so and rather than being square it turns out um you know the taller taller and skinnier shaped book I really wish I hadn't used this glue now because it's gonna take a little while to dry one two three four five six seven yeah so what you should end up with is your two cover pieces and then you'll end up with seven pages in the middle. Some with pockets on the top and some on the sides. I mean you probably could do them on the bottom if you wanted to as well but I I just prefer them on the top or the side. So as I said what you want to do next is cut out your little um, circles for and I'm just hoping that this punch is going to work because I've had some problems with it. Um, I can't find my one inch circle punch. This is a 
this is three quarters of an inch and it's um it's my old stamping up one but it um sometimes won't cut we actually don't need to use a circle punch you could do a different shape if you wanted to okay. yep that's okay so that was a top one so obviously i've done it at the top for you know to pull my little my little card in and out when I make it. Now this one is a side opening one. Yep. And I probably glued it a bit too far there, but see the glue spread on that one. Let me to just pull that pull that apart a little bit. It's all good, it's easily fixed. There we go. So this one on the side. Now this one is top. Top. Yeah, this one's top again. And yeah, my glue has spread, but that's okay. It's okay. Um top side oh pulled that one apart too far didn't I at least I know it's it's drawing now but just use a thin strip of glue if you don't want to lose, um, you know, the size of your pocket. Don't go too heavy on the glue. And if you want to use um, double-sided tape, just um, just do um, just make your card smaller because you'll lose a little bit of space. You'll have to measure it. Well, what's this one? Yep, it is a side one. It's just... Hmm. Oh, no. It's, it's another top one. It's another top one. I thought I'd glued it together for a second. Sorry about this paper flying everywhere. But, you know, I try to... I try to do things as quick as I can because I'm, I mean, I will edit bits out. I do edit, but it takes a long time to edit. So, you know, if I can, I try to do it all in one thing and then I tend to rush. But, um, because I, I like to try and keep my videos to 30 minutes if I can, half an hour. I mean, sometimes I might go for an hour, depending on what I'm doing, but I know that, you know, none of us have got, like, all day to sort of sit and watch something, and you, if it takes too long, you end up losing a bit of interest, so I'm, I'm trying to, you know, not, not make them too long. So now we've got that. We've got a little book. We've got a little pockets. So essentially, we need to make the little cards that go inside the pockets, so... And I won't make you watch me um, cut them all out. I will pause the video while I do it. But I'll just measure so we know. I think it's a three inch square. Yeah, now they are three inch square. So I'm going to make mine two and a half by two and a half. Am I? Um, Two and a half by three, uh, by three, yeah. Just so they stick out the top, they stick out a little bit. So, you know, I don't want it to sit down in there. I want it to, so it's going to be two and a half across. So there's plenty of room, but I'm going to make them a three in height. So I'm just going to get that plain black piece of 
add stock that I have. And I'm pretty sure you can do the whole book just with one A4 sheet if you want to. This is a little bit thicker than my um, A4 sheet, so I'm using these ones. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out three inches. We need seven of them, don't we? Actually, this ruler is cracked. So I'm going to measure two and a half. Sorry, I can't see it. So I hope you can see this black cardstock. I think you can. It's two and a half. Five. Where are we? Five. Can't find my metal ruler. Um. Seven and a half and ten. Then I'm just going to measure three inches down, three inches, I probably could have used my I can use my cutting mat as a guide as well. Three inches, three in five, um, seven in total. So two and a half inch intervals. I'll cut them down and I will be back. So I'm back and I have cut out all my little cards. Um, but I just wanted to come on. I'm going to cut out the covers now. So I just wanted to show you how you need to measure for your covers. So essentially this is three by three, or it should be if you know you folded it properly. I think mine's a bit off, but we're saying this is three by three. So we've got the spine here. Now with the cover, we want it to butt up against this edge. We don't want it to go out past this edge, but I do want it to come slightly out past this edge. So now if this is three inches, I want this to be three and one eighth. So it's three and one eighth to go across. And then I want it to come one eighth up, you know, over the top and one eighth over the bottom. So that equals a quarter. So it's going to be three and one eighth by uh three and one quarter is that right yeah yes three and one eighth by three and one quarter in height okay so i'm just going to go and cut those out okay so i'm back and i've cut out everything and while i was there i inked around the edges of my my um scrapbook so now, obviously, these little cards, you can obviously um, cover them with some paper. Decorate them however you like. But just for the video, um, I'll leave these blank. If I can get them in. Oh, I open Yeah, I think I've glued... I might go in. I think I've I've got to um, I've got to sort of loosen up the sides a little bit because the glue has spread further in than what I wanted it to. But you can just do that with your bone folder or something, just gently so you're not tearing it. Now these little cards will just fit in there like that, nice and snug. And as I said, I don't mind them sticking up. I quite like that, sticking out the top. This one needs to just come apart just a little bit more. There we go. Now it's sitting straighter. Now 
And then, you know, as I said, yeah, decorate them how you like and you can write on them, stick photos of them, whatever you want. But yeah, you've got your little tags to go in. Oops, that one was, I'll fix it later. So let's just sit in there like that. having a lot of trouble today there we go this one in. anyway you get the idea of how it's going to look and how it works now I've just ripped another one I think what I'm going to do is when I'm finished to be honest I'm going to use a different glue I think with cardstock the just the plain PVA glue isn't always strong enough well it is strong enough it's just that i haven't really got time to wait for it to dry properly so it's gonna just pull out so um i'll leave that until i've finished let's just open this one up a little bit more that should be better Now, with the covers, now remember we've cut them slightly taller than wide. So, as you can see, when we put this on, we're going to butt this up right up against the spine. And then it overlaps the page around about an eighth of an inch all the way around like this should be about roughly about an eighth of an inch all the way around and that's how you would glue it on but of course you want to cover this first so I'm just going to that's the rest of my tags I'm just going to get some of that paper I was talking about my printable because it actually is similar to that black and white scrapbook paper. I thought it might go on there on the cover nicely. I think I'm just going to glue these down. I might use a glue stick. It's going to be a little bit um, drier. And now you could cut them a little bit bigger and then just fold them over if you wanted to. Or actually, I think I will do that. I think it's going to look a little bit better if I do that. So I'm going to leave, you know, leave a gap around. And then I'm going to glue these down. You could just, you know, cut them to the same size and have the bare edges, but I think I prefer to wrap it around so that it doesn't come apart and it just, it just looks a lot neater. A neater finish. Just to make sure they are stuck down. So I'm going to get here and cut like this. Like this. It doesn't have to be completely straight because you won't see, see it. do is snip the corners almost to the corner just like that and we glue the 
these down. And then this is going to go on here. I think I've got it the right way around, have I? Let's make sure you've got it the right way around. Yep. So that's going to go on there like that. And all you'll see is you just see your edges. So yeah, you, you do kind of need to wrap the paper around if you don't just want to see the black cardstock or you know whatever color you're using so I'm going to glue that onto there um, let's put the glue onto here and then basically it's just to decorate it any way you like oh and I forgot one thing there is if you want to make a closure um, what I've done before too is before I glue the covers on, um, just get some ribbon or, you know, um, seam binding, anything like that, and glue it around onto here so that you've got your ends poking out. And then you can just tie it together. I'm not going to do that with this one, but that's... That's something that you can you can do. That's another idea. Take that out. For now we'll take those out. There we have my front cover on. Um, cut these. And then we want to make sure the front and back cover are lined up so that it looks right and that's it just make sure you've got it the right way around put the glue on this one on there line them up that's good and I'm just going to put a little bit of ink around mine And then our little book will be done. And I'm just using walnut stain. Um, you can see the difference it makes on like this colour. I think it looks nice. But yeah, as I said, you can use any paper or, you know, any colour or plain or do it whichever way around you want to do it, depending on... You know what you want to use it for I think I might use mine as uh, maybe a little um, 
art journal, maybe, or I might just like give it away to somebody as a little uh, mini photo album. And so just a quick flip through. This is what it looks like when it's done. We have that little pocket at the top here. That one. We have a little pocket at the side. And the top again. Yep, you get the idea. And the side. The top. They're both the top, the ones in the middle. Well, that one's the top as well. I think I could have done it either way. You can make up your mind. Yeah, I could have done the side on that one if I wanted to. That's the top again. And that is the back page. So I'm going to, you know, decorate this up more and, um, you know, maybe put something on the front and maybe decorate these cards as well. But that is the idea. That is your little booklet from one page of 12 by 12 paper. So I hope you enjoyed um, this little project. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.